we have example here for actually the formation of a member. So we have a steel. We know since this is a steel, we have a modulus of elasticity of 200 gigapascal. And we have a rectangular cross section of a uniform width segment. Our uniform width segment here is the segment 1. And we have a tapered segment, which is a segment 2 that varies linearly from 50 millimeters at, at point B to 130 millimeters at point C. So as what you can see in the figure, so we have a changing width. We have a 50 millimeters from this point to 130 millimeter from this point here. And the thickness of the bar is 15 millimeters. So we have to determine the elongation of the bar due to the load, 175 kilonewton. We neglect the weight of the bar. So in this case, we have two deformation, deformation of one and the deformation of two. So in order to compute for the total deformation, then we just need to add the two deformations. So we have the total deformation is equal to the deformation of, let's say, two plus the deformation of segment one. Now, since our deformation of 2 is changing, it var varies according to its length, and we have changing width, okay? So therefore, we have also a changing deformation across B to C. So we apply integration to this one. In contrast to segment 2, or I, I mean in contrast to segment 1, we have uniform width all throughout from B to A. So therefore, we apply the basic PL over A. So therefore, we compute for segment 2 first since this is the difficult one. So we have the deformation of 2 is basically equal to the integration of PL over AE. Okay? So however, in order to apply for integration, we should come up with a variable in terms of either X or Y. So in, in or but before that, let's try to um, divide it into a very small rectangular strip. Okay, that's the from the principle of integration. Let's assume that this one is infinitely small. And this strip here runs from B to C. Okay? And let's um, set this its length as dy since that one is changing. And this width here, the width of our strip, which we know equals to now we know that this one is 50 correct this one is 50 so if you try to project it this one is 50 and we let this as x now now take note since this um, trapezoidal shape is symmetrical with respect to the y-axis so we have equal x value besides our 50 millimeter width okay so therefore we have the width here which is 50 plus twice of the x now let's substitute all the form given in our integration we have the deformation of 2 is equal to the integration of p our p here is 175,000 correct the length here our length is varying that is the change in our length or the change in our y so therefore our length here is dy okay over the area our area here we know that is equal to the width times the thickness again our width here is changing so we let our width here in terms of our x so we have 50 plus 2x correct that's our width at any point from b to c that's the equation now our thickness here is constant which is 15 millimeter from the given so we have our area which is 50 plus 2x times 15 and we have the modulus of elasticity here which we know that this is one this one is still so we have 200 times 10 raised to the 3 now the remaining unit would be now we know that 175 here is in terms of newton and and the area here is in terms of millimeter squared. And this one here is in terms of Newton per millimeter squared. So actually we can cancel out Newton and millimeter squared. And the remaining here would be millimeter that is from 
the value dy. Okay? So that's the unit of deformation. That's in terms of the length. Now, we identify our limit, but first let's um, try to locate our reference point. So you can either use point C as our, re as our reference line or point B as our reference line. But for for simpler lang, so we let this be here as our reference point. So let this one, let's let that be as our x. So therefore, we have our um, limit here, which is from B to C, which is from 0, since our reference line is B. So we set as our boundary as 0 to 1, 9, 20. Correct? That's the limit for integration. So we have the deformation of 2. Now take note again, in order to apply integration, we should um, change this x here into variable y since we are integrating our equation in terms of dy. So we change all the variables here in terms of y. But how are we going to change x as a function of y? Now we can apply. How are you going to apply? What are you going to apply? So we can apply ratio and proportion. Okay, so you can actually isolate this area, this one. You can isolate this. So if you try to isolate it, then we would have this shape in which this one is B, okay, and this one is point C. Now we know that we have here X at Y distance from B, correct? Now, however, we do not have the value of this yet. How are you going to apply? To, uh, to solve for this width. Now we have 130 millimeter as the width of our point C, 130. Now take note that, that the width of this point is 50 millimeters, correct? This one is 50. And let's say this one is x1. And this one is x1 as well. So we have 130 minus 50. They you divide it by 2 to compute for the width here and that we have 40 millimeters so we have 40 here as our um, width okay so after that one we can apply ratio and proportion so by applying ratio and proportion then we have um, y is to x equals to we have um, 1920, 1920 that is the length from B to C over, we have um, the width, which is 40. Okay, so therefore we have the value of X here, which is equal to Y over 48. Correct? So if you cross multiply. So therefore we can um, use this value in our equation then we have here the integration of 175,000 dy over 50 plus 2 times y over 48 times 15 times 200 times 10 raised to the 3. And then we have the limit from 0 to 1, 9, 20. So you have the deformation of 2. Now you can use the principle of integration to this one. Okay, or you can directly use your calculator. Okay, so if you uh, have your calculator, then we, then we have the integration of 175,000. We have dy. Okay. But in this, in your calculator, you, you use dx instead. Then 50 plus 2y, okay, let's use x instead, over 48 times 15 times 200 times 10 raised to the 3. Then we have the limit from 0 to 1 and 20, correct? And this gives us 1.3377. 
1.3377 mm. So this one is the deformation of our tapered segment. Then we compute for the deformation of segment 1. So we have the basic PL over AE in which P here is equal to 175,000. The length is 680 over the area. The area is 50 times the thickness, which is 15. Okay, since the width of our segment 1 is 50 millimeters all throughout. That's uniform. Times the E, which is 200 times 10 raised to the 3. So we have um, segment 1 here, which is equal to 0 0.7933 millimeters okay so this is the deformation of segment one so to compute for the total deformation you should add um, two deformations we have 1.3377 plus 0 0.7933 then we have the total deformation here which is equal to 2.1333 1 millimeters and this is your final answer, the total deformation of our bar.